Hi everybody! <laughs> it's Sarah Willis again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about twin flame epiphanies. I'm going to be sharing announcements, observations, messages, and perhaps some, some of it may be an epiphany for you as it was for me. <sighs> okay, so first what are twin flames? Twin flames are two beings that vibrate on polar opposite sides of the exact same fre frequency. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Twin flames are two beings that vibrate on polar opposite sides of the exact same frequency. So if you look at this flame, you wouldn't say that the blue part is separate from the orangey part. It's just like twin flames. There's a spirit twin and a matrix twin, or a divine feminine and a divine masculine or a positive and a negative, however you want to view that. Um, one is not better than the other, but they both come, have different things to overcome. And yeah, let's just get right into it. <laughs> so the first thing I want to share with you all out there in YouTube land, <laughs> my fellow Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine people out there, um, is that I am a new creation. I have new eyes to see. I have new spiritual ears to hear. <laughs> um, I am in union with my own inner divine feminine and divine masculine energies. Um, I had to cut more people out of my life because I can discern people even better than I have before, which is unfortunate but positive to hear because um, my intuition is just off the charts when just listening to my music in the car I can discern um, things in people's spirits <laughs> it's really really interesting somehow coming into union with my own feminine and masculine energy somehow heightened my feminine energies my intuition my discernment it's off the charts <laughs> um, so yeah that's really really exciting to, to be fully present with my masculine energy. It's such a gift. <sighs> Sorry, I feel like I have a hair in my face, a cat hair. <laughs> um, it's such a gift. Um, I'm so grateful. I really feel like I've come full circle on this journey. I've come back to the beginning where I felt like it was so, I'm so grateful for this experience. And I see now how it had to happen the way it did, as painful as it was. The destruction had to occur for this new creation to develop because I am a new creation now. Hallelujah! <laughs> so the creator, just a refresher, I've already mentioned this before in previous videos, but I just want to let you remind you all out there that the creator places twin flames into family lineages with Wetigo to purge the Wetigo from that family's bloodline. What's Wetigo? Um, Wichigo is a First Nations word. Some tribes called it Wendigo, and the Inuits had a different name for it, but essentially it is a counterfeit cannibalizing spirit. So in the feminine, it's known as codependency, bipolar disorder, borderline personality disorder, um, an empath, self-love deficit. And in the masculine energy, it's known, uh, oh, and also the Ahab spirit, in the masculine, it's known as the master manipulator, the illusionist, the chaos sorcerer, the emotional vampire, the Jezebel spirit, narcissism. So I believe that the creator places the, the twins in these family lineages to break the curse, to purge out the Wetigo. And I also mentioned or asked before why are there so many twin flames incarnated on Earth right now? And that's because the Wetigo is an all-time high, but it also is to bring it forth the age of Aquarius. Here's some words that describe the age of Aquarius. Truth, illumination, innovation, freedom, visionary, idealist, sovereignty, wisdom, intellect, technology, communication, global consciousness, and future. I believe the Twin Flames are ushering in this new age of the Aquar of Aquarius. If you look at this man, this man is balanced in his feminine energies. He's opened his heart 
to care and help out other people. Carrying water is typically a female job. In my opinion, the reason why this man is in his feminine presence or energies or polarity, or, you know, he's incorporated both of his energies, is probably because he had women in his life, many, you know, generations of women that finally were whole in their masculine energies and stood up for themselves finally, and the men responded. Um, human consciousness ebb and flows with the uh, stars. The procession of the equinoxes takes place every 26,000 years. So humanity is finally evolving and reaching spiritual maturity. And these are just the beginning steps of that evolvement of humankind. Um, I believe also the twins, the movement of the stars, as well as the internet, is bringing forth this age of Aquarius. Now I'd like to bring your attention to attachment styles. There's three main ones that I found um, anxious, which I call the love addict, or it's been known also as the love addict, avoidant and secure. Um, the spirit twin or the divine feminine is a love addict. Love addict. They have an con unconscious belief that their life will be so much better if they had this one person in their life. Um, and the divine masculine, the matrix twin, has a love avoidant attachment style. And I found this journey in just my whole life in general has gotten so much better after conquering the love addict or the love um, an or anxious style, attachment style. <laughs> Once you control that or overcome that or heal from that, however you want to look at it, this journey is so much easier. <laughs> um, so when I met my twin, I met him during an ayahuasca ceremony at a medicine retreat that we were both partaking in or participating in. And he told me later on this, his intention was to become, to come into balance with his own feminine energies. And I didn't realize it at the time, but he was absolutely right. The journey of the twin flames, the twins have to both become balanced in both their energies. So I was too much in my polarity of the feminine, and he, he is or was too polarized in his masculine energies. And let me just explain it to you this way. The sacred masculine principle is the self-defense principle. Okay. And the sacred feminine principle is the non-aggression principle. This is do no harm. This is take no shit, in other words. The Divine Masculine is going against the Sacred <laughs> Feminine Principle and the sac or the Feminine is going against the Divine Masculine or the Sacred Masculine Principle. What I mean by that is um, the Feminine takes a lot of shit or was taking a lot of shit in her past and now he or she is finally rising and standing firm in their own masculine energy, not putting up with that anymore. Let me just get you over. And same thing with the Divine Masculine, um, he's going against the Sacred Feminine Principle, the Non-Aggression Principle, he's using people and hurting people. So that was enlightening for me to observe that. Um, trauma stunts one's development. So if you notice your twin acting, if you're like, wow, he's just like a child, or he seems so... Well, it's true. Um, trauma stunts someone emotionally. Um, so have compassion. How they treated you was a reflection of how they feel about themselves. How they treated you was a reflection of how they feel about themselves. It's pretty deep. Something really horrible about this um, with Chigo, it really messes up everything. It's, I like to think of it as a virus. You know, when a computer has a virus, it's overwritten by this virus and um, just horrible things come of it. And one thing about this virus that it calls dysfunction love. Yeah, it averts the truth. Um, so I believe the Divine Masculine is trauma bonded right now. They're in a toxic relationship, or many of them are. Maybe not all of them, but the ones I've read on comments and stuff. Um, another thing, posting on social media, if you notice your twin posting on social media, saying how happy they are or whatever. They're just trying to convince themselves 
and um, I would totally recommend all of you to get off social. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> to get off social media, uh, Facebook is fake book. Instagram is Insta sham. Okay, it's not real. It's uh, an illusion. There are some things about it that are real, but in general, it's all fake. Just so try to stay away from um, social media. There's social media. Um, so, in my opinion, the Divine Masculine or the Matrix Twin is currently having their false twin experience. And the Karmic, apparently, what I feel, is they are of a masculine polarity too. And remember, the Wichigo and the ma Masculine is the manipulative or destructive, rebellious, the spirit of rebellion. Um, and some of these Karmics are twin flames themselves, okay? So, so that's pretty, pretty deep. <laughs> They're both running away from their own reunions, I feel. Um, one thing, um, usually I just sense things or I get a download or whatever, but occasionally I do hear directly from the creator. And one time, the only thing I've ever heard the creator speak on this is t I heard the voice tell me or the creator tell me they are sick. They have that virus, the Wichigo. So... It's overriding their true self. I'm telling you that so you can have awareness and have be compassionate towards them. Um, so remember when I was saying that twin flames are two beings that vibrate on polar opposite sides of the exact same frequency? Well, I've discovered that women fall in love in the presence of a man and men fall in love in the absence of a woman. And make it fit however you need to. You could say masculine energy or whatever. But, you know, the Matrix Twin falls in love in the presence of the, or sorry, the Spirit Twin, the Divine Feminine, fall in love in the presence of a man, whereas men fall in love the opposite. They fall in love when the woman is gone, or when the man is gone, dependent, dependent on who you are. And then, you know what I'm trying to say, um, the Divine Feminine can be a man. Um, I discovered this, um, there's a twin flame couple on YouTube, I, they've never announced that they're twins, but it's so obvious that they're twin flames. And the Divine Masculine Twin, or the Matrix Twin of that union couple, <clears throat> said that he really couldn't see his twin until she was out of his life, until she was gone. That's only then that he could appreciate her. It's really sad that many people, they can't appreciate what they have until it's gone. Um, so yeah, men and women fall in love polar opposite ways, unfortunately. Um, the Twin Flame Journey is a self-love journey. And its purpose is to get you into mission. Its, its purpose is to get you into mission, not to 3D union, although sometimes that does happen. And into union with your own divine feminine and own divine masculine energies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, the next thing or the last thing I'm going to leave you off on is story medicine. These two movies have been such a blessing to me. They're my favorites from childhood, but I've come to really appreciate them more in my adulthood. And that's Reality Bites and Pride and Prejudice. They both follow uh, twin, twin flame couples. And it's really amazing when the divine masculine twin comes back fully in balance and in union with their own feminine energies. Um, when they're balanced and can open their heart, it's such, it almost makes them more masculine. Um, it's so amazing. I know it's just a story, <laughs> but it does happen. Like the couple I was just telling you earlier, they actually are in 3D union and they're helping people so immensely right now. They've been such a guiding light to me and I know many, many other people. And there's one moment in both of these movies with both of these twin flame couples that the divine feminine twin just really lays into the Divine Masculine and just tells him, basically tells him off. It's really, really an intense scene. But really what she's doing is she's really loving her twin flame counterpart in that moment, even though she's being kind of harsh with them. And really, um, I wrote a song recently called The Power of the Word, and um, that's kind of where I drew inspiration from. So in this moment where the twin, where Lilena and Elizabeth Bennet lays into the other and tells them, shows them the mirror, I guess, <laughs> um, it created, so it destroyed a previous world and it created a new world. 
<laughs> with her words. Because the Divine Masculine Twin went away and thought about these words for a long time. And those words, those powerful, maybe abru uh, abrasive words, changed the Divine Masculine's life for the better. And I really feel in both these movies, I don't think anybody else was going to tell them what was what, or tell them what it is, or tell them <laughs> who they were becoming and who they were being, because no one really had the balls, I guess. <laughs> no one had the courage to really tell them to their face what they were, or how they were acting. And at the, at the moment in the movie, it's really tense, but it's really such a blessing for the story. And I don't think the couples would have come back if there wasn't that, you know, tower moment. So if you feel like watching those movies, they're brilliant. Um, the Pride and Prejudice is pretty long, but it's very worth it. It um, brings me much medicine when I watch it. Um, much love to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope this video is enlightening. Much love to all of you. I pray you all are doing well out there. And I'll see you guys in my next video.